dudes, let's have a chat. Now, you anti-woke folk, I gotta sit here and tell you, I just watched all of Scott Pilgrim. Though it isn't an adaptation of the movie, it isn't a one on, it is a one for one adaptation of the comics. It's its own thing. And that's okay. It turns into a whodunit. And also it's an exploration in, into Ramona's character and her past. And honestly, we still get to see Scott in it. Because people are like, it's like He-Man. No, He-Man, no, let me just be real. And I love Kevin Smith, but let me just say this. He-Man was made by a guy who really didn't care that much. When Scott Pilgrim takes off, people cared. I'm just saying. Y'all act like, you all act like, just because something, just because you didn't like the first episode, you just backed away. You just didn't want to watch it. And that's fine. But don't scream, woke this, woke that. Motherfuckers. I remember when we were. I remember when back when we when we were fighting woke people. When woke when there was actual woke shit to fight about. But now you idiots are just spinning your fucking wheels every day. Getting you know, sending shit to a bun to a crowd of people who are just as outraged as you. But mostly they just feel displaced. They don't like new things. They don't like this world. They don't like the fact that people use pronouns. They don't like the... Some of y'all don't even like the game. People are just, like, around, present, and loving each other. It's annoying. It's stupid. Every last one of you. Because, folks, things change. But we see that on everything entertainment is just fucking annoying. Because you know what? I have to hear it. My friend Victor has to hear it. My friend Hungry has to hear it. Oh God, got a little phlegm there. My my friends gotta hear it. See, y'all motherfuckers think you're saving, the, you're, you're you're fighting for you're fighting for something. Really, you're not fighting for anything. You're just giving the woke people more shit to talk about. And the, and the woke people get more people to validate their stupid little opinions. You're ba- y'all playing into each other and it's so funny because he, because now that I took a step back from that. Let's, my friend, who was a very douchey, toxic son of a bitch, who literally said, I'm for all, I'm for LGBT rights and all this shit, but not, not, not like in that way. Where things were in across the Spider Verse, and this man could not take it because he is a literal baby. Him and his and him and his little friend, Mister Nut. Why y'all idiots are out here fighting for a fucking cause that literally fizzled out years ago? And I don't. And let me just say this. I don't care what Disney's doing. I don't care what fucking Hollywood is doing. Y'all motherfuckers make this into an actual, like, fucking war. And for what? And don't tell me this culture war shit is real. It's not. You know what, you know what is real? The wars that are actually going on. The people that are actually losing their lives. People that are losing their families and shit. You idiots! All y'all are just fucking keep keyboard warriors screaming at the top of your lungs why things are not things are not the same. Things are sh- things should have been better back in your time, or things would be cooler if they did this. Y'all fucking scream and cry about shit not, shit not meeting your standard, or shit being the same, or things doing something too different. But when Scott Pilgrim does it, oh. Y'all motherfuckers got nothing to say about that. There's a bunch of idiots screaming at their computers. And you'd be like, well, Bugsy, you're screaming at your computer. No, bitch. I'm actually screaming against you idiots. Because unlike y'all, I used to be like y'all. But after a while, 
again, I always support the LGBT, and I'm just being real with y'all. But I was, like, always fighting against the woke motherfuckers, and I got tired of that. And I tried to help it out the people who were anti-woke. That didn't work, because that my, per- my friend turned into a huge fucking asshole. And my other friend did something that did a mistake that really, really muddied the waters. That most of us really didn't have any real part in. But, be that as it may. All I'm saying is, y'all should give Scott Pilgrim a chance. And, no, don't be talking about the woke agenda. Don't be talking about the patriarchy. Just watch the goddamn anime. There are five for, like, all the series. And then judge it. Instead of you bitches just crying about every little thing. (laughs) Because let me tell you something. I'm against woke, and I'm against you anti-woke motherfuckers. I'm against all of you bitches. Because I don't care what you all say, how you all say it, the words you use, how you frame it. You all are fucking gigantic dicks. Every last fucking one of you. You bitches don't care about anything but your own fucking, your own fucking narrative. And not just the woke people, the anti-woke people too. Y'all don't care about nothing but your bottom line. Cloud 50 TV, geeks and gamers, all of you guys. Y'all don't care. And when someone tries, someone desperately tries to do something that's good and different, y'all idiots cry and scream about it. Because, let's be real, to, to, to this dude, Black Saints, that my friend keeps talking about, dude, you're just a contrarian. To Clownfish TV, you guys are just disgruntled employees that want to get mad at everybody and every little thing. And who really cares about what y'all think? Watch your children. To all the other little, little motherfuckers that don't even work, isn't even worth a mention. You all are the problem. Every last single one of you. You know... I think, you know, I think the general public may not be like us. They may not be as savvy about us. They may not pick on every single reference. But you know what they do? You know what they do like? If they like something, they like it. Yes, and critiquing is normal and necessary. But y'all just assassinated an anime that didn't do nothing to any of you. You all didn't even see it. And the people that are going to see it is going to be like, oh my god, this is great. And I don't want to spoil that for them. I've watched it all and I love every bit of it. It's, I, I'm going to say this in the review um, later this week. But it's like we got the, like, like the comic is the regular, like the comic and the movie are like the regular ending. Scott Pilgrim takes off. It's like we got the fucking good ending. <clears throat> we got the good ending. Someone got the secret. Someone got the secret items. Someone get all got all the secret notes, and we just got the good ending of this. We got the good ending of the Scott Pilgrim universe. And older and and a super boss that would have been really cool if they really put it in. To the game. Oh my sweet god. I don't know if Trigger really worked on this. I'm probably going to look in the review. They probably did or probably didn't. But Jesus. Jesus. The, this Everything about this anime was made with fucking love and attention to detail. And like references to the comic and the movie. And it's just like. It's just like. You guys just don't get it because y'all don't want to. Y'all just want it to be another little woke thing that you want to get mad at. You know? And that's cool. Y'all want to be drones? Y'all want to be sheep? Go right ahead. 
this dude is going this dude is going back to what he loves best make entertaining people helping people when I can and really just living the best fucking life I can have while the rest of you live in squalor and misery because you guys cannot hold you guys want to you guys want to want to say shit is woke for clout Say she is woke because of your nostalgia. Or say she is woke because money. I wash my hands with all of you motherfuckers. All of you are not worth the single utterance of a phrase. Because you know what? To me, you are like invisible little dots. No one's gonna, no one's gonna care. Fifteen years from now, when you guys are, fifteen or, fifteen or eighty years when you guys are gone, because y'all didn't want to try and y'all didn't want to try and leave a legacy. Y'all wanted to be bitches, and that's what you're gonna be remembered for, being bitches. <sighs> and I don't know if I'll ever leave a le- lasting legacy that people will remember me for, but I'm gonna. But I'm gonna keep on trying, because my sim, my simple, my simple, anti woke and woke sheeple. I at least am gonna try my damnedest, while the rest of you bitch and fight with each other, and some of you, you know, hate bone each other. I know some of you on here. Don't even, don't even front like I don't know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But I'm gonna get out of here. Peace, guys. That's all I really got to say. The review is coming. And I hope you're ready when it comes. You guys? You anti-woke and woke assholes? Y'all suck. Remember that. You all suck. And there's no cure. Because you're idiots.